Carro. Hello my Taurus friends, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to start something on the channel that's a little bit new and I'm going to call it Tarot Roulette. Now, what if, just what if, everybody who sees the Wheel of Fortune in their spread or on their tarot thing, what if the Wheel of Fortune spun for you right now? What if? This is about divine timing. It's about them making choices as to when you're ready for what's next. What if whatever was about to happen for you happened before you're ready? Or what if it all happened right now? Obstacles are detours in the right direction. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. So perhaps this is how you can get it to spin because the universe, it's like getting out of your own way in a certain extent, right? The universe works fast when you're having fun. They can work in the background on all the things that you've been trying to uh, micromanage. And we really have to be careful about what we micromanage right now. Because <clears throat> when I listen to the Leo King, that's what he says, and I believe him. <laughs> so I think it's coming into a time of unconditional love and happiness and fun and, and understanding that the the the... The energies out there are lending to that, lending to us not trying to maybe be in such control of every little thing. <clears throat> and it's going to be difficult because we're going to want to micromanage every little thing. But, you know, becoming, uh, he says something about how it's going into the age of Aquarius and it's, it's about getting things figured out and how to work through things logically instead of emotionally. But I think there's something to be said about the emotions and how we're moving forward. We have to understand understand that when obstacles come, they are detours in the right direction. That, that it's not something bad happening to you. Okay, so if the Wheel of Fortune was to spin right now, would you believe that? Would you understand that? Or are we in micromanaging uh, energy? The universe works when I'm having fun. When's the last time you went out and had some fun? I know for me it's been a little while. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So if you're looking for direction and you're wanting that wheel of fortune to spin, you know, that's a very good direction. However, if it's spun now, I think that uh, there would be some issues because if it's spun right now, there might be decisions that you'd have to make like bam fast. And to be honest, I don't think you're ready to make those decisions like bam that fast. Maybe some of you are, and maybe it will spin right now, and maybe this is not a reading for you, but I'm telling you, if this wheel was to spin right now before it's divinely timed, I think it would set set whatever this is about on a trajectory that you would not be ready to take right now. Now, yeah, let's cut out the BS, right? There's some stuff that needs to be cut out here before we can move forward. Queen of Swords. It's like doing your homework. You're in homework mode. It's having uh, understanding what know what you know works for you, but and you'll listen to people as they come along, but you're not going to make any unjust decisions. You're going to be very fair and and do what you feel is right in the situation and every truth you've learned for yourself up till now. So if the wheel of fortune spins and brings something your way that needs an instant quick decision, it's like, well, let me hear them out first. You see what I'm saying? And the divine, when they spin this wheel, it's not about waiting 10 years. It's not. So, yeah, of course it's not. Because what you're going to put into, into action right now, my Taurus friends, you know, what you're going to put into action when this Wheel of Fortune spins is absolute creation, stepping into absolutely yourself. And I don't know if it's spun right now for you, if it would be very good timing. Someone could be dealing with something in the legal field, something you have to do with that. And it's been a, it's been a process to birth this into being. I do see that something, however... In the legal field, that's something you've been trying to bring about will definitely bring results within the next, 
I'm going to say three to six weeks. Six weeks. Within the next six weeks. Six to nine weeks. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Six to nine weeks. This could be could be from now till nine weeks. Let's not get hung up on time. Hence, this is all about when it's divine timing. Obstacles and detours are a path are in the right. Hmm. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. So decision in love, decisions in who it is you want to be, decisions in work environment, waiting for decisions in the legal aspect of things. Two people the divine is trying to bring together in some sort of way. But there's been an obstacle here. There's been an obstacle possibly because you're focused on past issues and the Wheel of Fortune can't spin just yet because things need to be sorted out. And I think in this situation you're dealing with, there's a lot of people in the mix that are going to be affected. Not just affected, but propelled forward because of what's going on. Yeah, and it's taken absolute great strength. to real. It could be something to do with a soulmate contract here with a Leo. Uh, or it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, such as yourself. So obstacles are detours in the right direction. So there's been an obstacle here and something needed to be taken care of before it, before the wheel of fortune could spin. Okay. Someone needed to come into their power. That's exactly what's happening. Someone, whether it's you or someone you're dealing with needed to come in their power. And there's been a time halt, basically a uh, obstacle thrown in the way, but Without this obstacle, I don't think you'd ever gotten where this Wheel of Fortune's going to spin you. That's for sure. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. So, repeating cycles, huh? Repeating, controlling cycles. Not giving up and a truth spoken. Now, there's been a truth spoken and you refuse to give up on the battle on what it takes before you can put the burdens down which is good they don't want you to give up on speaking the truth they don't but they also want you to remember that you're a human being on this planet and it's all part of being and stepping into your truth but in order to for them to create around you this massive creative energy it takes time even look in this card she's pregnant it takes time to birth a child it takes time for them to grow in your belly it takes time so someone here is at a crossroads and there's a truth to be spoken and I don't think you're gonna give up but there's something about the universe works fast when you're having fun perhaps there's not much fun in your life right now not much fun at all especially if you're taking care of other people and their situations but in some way it's required that you do so so if the Wheel of Fortune spun right now, I think there's things you'd have to cut out of your life that is not divinely guided that you cut out of your life. This Queen of Swords here holds this Ace of Truth in her hand. It is her, it's like your birthright. You've earned it. You've earned that truth. So do not give up on what you feel is the truth for you, but trust the divine to bring that forward and go out and have some fun so they can work in the background and help bring this about sooner. Now, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Soulmate card wasn't even out, but here I got it now. At a crossroads, making a decision. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is present to me. Making a decision about soulmate or children with a soulmate or children with, you had children with somebody. This could be making a decision about someone you were with long ago and there's been shit happening. And now there's a decision needs to be made or at a crossroads regarding where your children are concerned. And there's seeds well planted here. There's been a pause in action. Absolutely, there's been a pause in action. An unnecessary worry. So there's something about realigning with love and remembering why you're doing all of this in the first place. Realigning with love here. Clear direction is presented to you. So why am I doing this all in the first place? Make that your reason every single time. If you're doing it for your children, remember, you're doing it for their safety. You're doing it for their mental well-being. You're doing it for their soul's heart well-being. You're doing it to show them in a soulmate 
bond and connection with your children that you have got them and when it comes down to protecting the people you love you've you've got to stand up for them and you've got to do it and there's something about that happening here for you and all of this needs to be done and happen before the wheel of fortune spins but if it was going to spin right now i really think that there's a lot that would happen that that yeah that wouldn't be good because it would stop a trajectory that is for a soul contract that you had when you came into this lifetime. Hard, yes, absolutely. Cutting out the BS is always hard. You could be dealing with a judge, uh, like I said, a lawyer, and this could be a very difficult situation with children in a legal battle. Okay, and I understand that. And it has to come to fruition. It has to happen exactly the way the divine is doing it. Yeah, it does. Look, you feel tied to it. You feel tied to it. If the Wheel of Fortune was to spin right now, like, and magically all of these things would be gone, that, that darkness that you feel tied to cannot bear forth the light. This is the yin and the yang side of a relationship. We got the shadow side and the light side here. Yin yang is probably not the right word for it, but the shadow side and the light side of a relationship with yourself, of a relationship with your children, and even of a relationship with the divine. It's all about you coming into balance and understanding of what it is that your soul came here to do. And there's some path that you are on right now that is absolutely about soul contract situation. And if the divine was to spin this right now, I don't believe it would be good for you. We don't, we want to learn our lessons. I mean, they could spin it for you right now and have it all done and you could go through it next lifetime too. But I mean, why? You guys are some of the most creative, down to earth, wicked, smart people. Like, and, and when spiritually awoken are massive massive co-creators with the divine especially in the financial world and there's something here that is about your soul not having the money maybe in the 3d world right now to create what it is you want to create to bring about what it is you want to bring about and some of you may be even suffering financially and it's been a pause in action while you actually tend to this soul contract thing that you have to do but I do want you to know that this Wheel of Fortune is going to spin, spin eventually. And when it does, I want you to please, please remember, do not give up and do not forget everything that you've learned. The universe works faster when you're having fun. Okay, and understand that all of these obstacles are trying to put you in the right direction. It's something that you cannot see yet. I get that. And your biggest way forward to keep in mind always in this circumstance situation, why are you doing what you're doing? The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. I hope this message resonates for you guys. I'll be talking to you again soon. Blessings, and I love you.